How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and yes, iOS 18 is making your iPhone battery health go down really fast. Let's talk about that. So, although it's normal for your iPhone battery health to go down after a software update, iOS 18 is really speeding up this process. It's making a ton of iPhone models, especially the 15 series, but not exclusively, we're gonna talk about that, to really go down way faster than before. There are so many reports of iPhone users that actually had 100% of maximum capacity under battery health, and then after updating to iOS 18, after a few days or weeks, they're seeing numbers like 95, 92, 90%, as I said, in a matter of weeks or just a couple months. And that's just way faster than before. It has never happened before. You have to understand that when you update your iPhone software, when you update iOS, a ton of stuff happens in the background. Things that you just don't see. We just see an Apple logo and a loading bar filling up like a couple times, right? And one of the things that happen when you update your iPhone software is battery health recalculation. Because when we update our iPhone software, that's when iOS runs a bunch of checkups, one of them being battery health calculation. So it'll pretty much use your battery cycle count, which is super easy to find now, right? We can go to settings on the iPhone 15 series and up. So you can go to settings and battery and right there, you can already see your battery cycles. It's this very same thing, okay? So iOS will check your battery cycle count and then it'll just recalculate the number, the percentage the maximum capacity under your battery health. That's when it does it. So let's imagine you are running iOS 17 on your iPhone, but you've got this iPhone for a few months now, maybe six months, maybe even close to a year, but your battery health maximum capacity was still at 100%. So you're thinking your battery is perfect, 100%. And then after updating to iOS 18, after a few days, maybe a couple weeks, you see it go down to like 95, 92, or even lower. And then immediately you would think like iOS 18 just ruined my battery, completely destroyed my battery. But that's not what's going on. And that's the most important part of this video. When you update your iPhone, what iOS is doing is just recalculating. It's just updating the number, that's it. So then, when you were in iOS 17, bringing back this exact same example, and you're seeing there 100%, it was not at 100%. It was already at 95 or 92 or 90, so in this very same example. So then when you update to iOS 18, it'll just recalculate and show you the current, the correct percentage of your maximum capacity. So again, it's not degrading, it's not going from 100 to 90, it's not making it worse, it's just changing the number. It's just flipping the number. Nothing else will change on your battery because you've updated your iPhone. So this is the very first thing you have to keep in mind and understand. Software updates don't degrade your battery instantaneously after updating in a few days or weeks. It just doesn't happen like that. But then why is iOS 18 dropping it so much faster than before? Because as I said, this has always happened. It's always been like that on the iPhone. But why is iOS 18 making it drop so much faster? And we don't know. Right now, we just don't have an answer. I have two guesses for this. Number one being iOS 18 is just calculating battery health way more accurate than before. So it's much better at calculating compared to iOS 17, 16, and so on. So previous iOS versions were just giving it a higher number than they used to. And then of course, in iOS 18, it's giving you the spot on correct number. Therefore, it's going down faster because this is the real number. So this is the first possibility. And the second possibility is just iOS 18 is messed up. It's doing the calculations all wrong and of course, dropping our battery health way more than it should. If that's the case, all we have to do is wait because if it's wrong, Apple will eventually fix it in software updates, maybe iOS 18.3, 18.4, we don't know, but Apple will eventually fix it. But of course, if that's an error number two, if that's an error number one, it's correct. It's the right thing and then it's just dropping as it should, faster than before, but now correctly. And then we have one final but very important topic. 
I'm seeing so many people saying the exact same thing. I'm not gonna update anymore. I'm gonna stick to iOS 18, 18.1, 18.1.1, uh, whatever version they are at the moment. I'm sticking with that version and I'm not updating simply because it'll ruin my battery. And honestly, guys, my recommendation is don't do it. There's no point in doing it. The chance of iOS 18 calculating your battery health wrongly is just very, very slim. In my opinion, it's calculating correctly based on my experience, based on all I've seen. Uh, if you actually think about it, iOS 17, 16, 15, and so on, they were always very optimistic in battery health. So my thinking right here, what I actually believe in is that iOS 18 is really doing the right thing. So it won't change. It will be like this from now on. It'll just drop faster and we have to accept this. And by not updating, you're just losing so much. You're just losing the new features. Uh, you're just fooling yourself. And in the end of the day, uh, you're just making your iPhone less safe, less secure, because software updates are not only for new features, they're also intended to make your iPhone safer, more secure as well. And this is such a big part of iOS, being a safe operating system. If you don't believe me, and if you don't think iOS has always been very optimistic with battery health and with maximum capacity percentage, go take a look at this video right here, where I show you how to calculate the real battery health of your iPhone. And I do that by using the battery cycle count. And when we do it, pretty much always we realize that the battery health percentage we see on our iPhone and the real battery health generally are way off and generally the iPhone is very optimistic about it and is generally much higher than it should be. So this all sums up the idea of the video. That's what I wanted to show you in this video right here. So don't worry too much about battery health. Use your iPhone as you would. Keep updating your iPhone. Don't care too much about this and just live your life. It happens. Batteries will degrade. They always degrade. Don't care too much about this and keep enjoying your iPhone, okay? So, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.